Ooh, it is very cold outside, it's minus 4 degrees Celsius and uh, I had uh, Optimus Prime Park in the garage uh, yesterday actually yeah uh, the car has been parked for uh, like 20 hours uh, which is actually very unlikely because most of the time I use the car all the time but anyway so uh, then it had a chance to cool down and uh, I'm gonna show you something now uh, inside now the battery is very cold I have almost no region and um, you know, many people ask me from time to time, like, well, why don't you try that max battery power thing? Well, okay, so this is a performance uh, version. Now, the dual motors with performance uh, option, uh, like P85D, P90D, whatever, you know, uh, you have this option to, to heat up the battery to like, kind of high um, temperature uh, in order to get better performance. Uh, but uh, also some people say you can use that feature to heat up the battery for you know, for faster supercharging, but I don't have a supercharger nearby, but at least I have a Chadmo fast charger, and um, you know, when you, if you don't have the performance, if you ju just preheat the car normally, it will usually, you know, it will heat up the battery to only 17 degrees Celsius, but in order to get maximum speed from fast chargers, you normally need like 35, at least 35 degrees, I think, uh, maybe 40 even, uh, but the max battery power, I heard that it will heat it up to like 45 degrees Celsius. So actually, it will heat it up uh, to higher temperature than you know, the, like the the optimal needed for supercharging. I, I noticed that when I was supercharging uh, back in Germany in the summer, and then I switched on that battery heating thingy, right? And then uh, you know the fans was like running, cooling down the the battery, right? Once I switched it, like once I started like conditioning the battery for for max power. Uh, the fan stopped, so that can only mean one thing that you know the car will allow the temperature to rise higher than probably higher than too like too unhealthy, yeah, if you do it too much, but let 's try it and see what happens i 'm going to show you now about how it looks like in the car Ooh, so it is freezing cold outside. You turn on the heater, uh, but now you don 't see anything yet. we have to go into drive mode and there, oh yeah. So uh, let's just do this trick that we put the car in drive and then put it in neutral. I mean, sorry, we put on, you apply the park brake. Yeah, so then it goes in, so this is like, you know, the classic, um, like, um, camper mode. Yeah, well, I can just buckle up, doesn't matter really, because that, yeah, it just shows nothing there. But uh, let me try to use this um, uh, feature then. Uh, okay, so if I go to, Driving and then okay, there you have it. Max battery power. All right, it will say blah blah blah. Power condition, high temperature, blah blah. blah. Best for short time duration. Trade off is best for boost, but uh, yeah. So you shouldn't do this too often. All right, max battery power. Oh, I hear some fans going now. Uh, what? Oh, it was grayed out. Seems like they wanted me me to read that thing. Wait, ah, oh, it's a toggle. So now that, oh, you can toggle it on and off. Okay, well. Yeah, I hear some fans going, all right. So max battery power is on. Whoa, it says heating estimated one plus hour. Whoa, but uh, anyway, let's see here. Okay. Hang on, try to place this, yeah. So it starts heating up. Wow, that goes fast, to say. Um, well, now it's um, okay. 257 kilometers. I, I didn't pay attention how much we had in the start, but uh, we are both heating up the cabin and the battery right now. So I um, um, just wonder how long it would take. Uh, maybe I should do uh, like a time lapse now to see how long it takes. But uh, I have to say, I mean, in the beginning, it was. I mean, it seems like yes. Um, uh, this car has a 60 kilowatt. Uh, heater element for uh, where it's a resistive heater for the battery and um, uh, I think it, it uses all the 6 kilowatt to heat up pretty fast you see uh, I think this is the same I mean it should be the same as preheating normally except that uh, when you preheat normally like I mentioned you know it will only go to plus 16 uh, plus 17 degrees Celsius so uh, let's uh, chill for a bit and see how fast it goes
we are now at the Fortnum fast charger we're gonna charge on Chadamo and the ba max battery power says uh, estimated time 30 minutes so I think this should be good enough well I have no idea I don't have insight in the battery temperature but uh, we're gonna plug in and see what happens okay let's see it is charging 80 90 100 ooh, 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 ooh. well I'm not sure if it's a charger that is limiting this or if it's um uh, if the battery but uh, yeah well it should be 110 but it's pretty close to 110 anyway uh it could be that the heater is also sucking some uh, some power so let's let's switch off the heat to see what happens Ooh, okay then we get 110 hmm Okay, you know what? I think this is uh, maximum output. I mean, if I had a <laughs> if I had a chance, if I live close to supercharger, I could try it, or I had to try some other time. But I mean, it takes really long time to um, like let the, the battery cool down. So that's the problem. And what's I mean, usually when I drive around, then the battery is not that cold. Um, well, I mean, I can try something else next time because uh, you see here. Um, well, now we don't have any. I mean, just a little bit. Okay. So now we don't have a power limit here anymore. Well, okay, we are we are plugged in, so you don't see that. But I mean, you saw on the time lapse that the power limit disappeared. Uh, and you know, uh, when if you preheat the normal way, then after like uh, half an hour ish, um, the power limit will still be there and it won't disappear with the normal preheating. Um, because as I explained, you know. Uh, in the in the max battery power it will allow the temperature to go beyond 17 degrees Celsius so um, Well, it's still going there, but you know what? I'm gonna switch it off now. So let's see what happens with the fans Okay, I didn't hear anything but uh, I switch off ba max battery power now Hmm, okay. Let's see. How is this? Uh, how is it going then? Ooh now it's higher. Ooh, it's 120 now. Ooh, okay. Hmm. So maybe it wasn't like optimal. Yeah. So it seems like maybe you know the the break point is when when it says. Um, let me see. Let me, let me just. I'm gonna play around with this. At least for channel speed. Okay. So if I switch it on again. Yeah. All right. So when I mean, it seems like if it says 25 minutes left then uh, that's probably optimal for channel speed at least um, let me switch it off okay for now I don't need it now um, yeah but channel speed is not too fast uh, so if we go to uh, well I know I have to I have to clean my display it's so dirty uh, language units uh, energy okay so you see I'm only getting 45 uh, 44 kilowatt a supercharger is way higher. It's like 110, 115. Um, so I bet for supercharger, you probably have to wait until the estimated time left is like five, ten minutes only. Then that would be, you know, the supercharger. So that means, well, I mean, how long do you have to like preheat or use max battery power? Well, it depends how cold your battery was when you started. But uh, at least you know when you have. I guess five ten minutes left then it should be good and of course this option is uh, for those people who don't want to run yo-yo with your car like I did in one of the previous video because someone also told me that you know it's not healthy for the battery to heat up that fast so yes uh, this method is probably better <laughs> Yeah, all right, uh, so that's it then for max battery power. Yes, bye bye